Hello, Rufus. Oh, no, not again. Yeah, I'm happy to see you, too. I want you to repair this junk press for Doc's mobile office. <laughs> oh, right. Mobile office. Sure. Look, don't try to put one over on me, Tony. I know exactly what's going on. This isn't a junk press, and it's not even a tutorial. No, it's simply a recurring nightmare. And the fact that you're here is the ultimate proof. Do you really think this is fun for me? I mean, who needs a tutorial for a point-and-click adventure? <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. Let's just get this over with, all right? I shouldn't even be here. I'm supposed to be with the Resistance in Portofisco battling the Organon. Instead, I'm explaining how to use a mouse to my dumbass ex-boyfriend. Oh, excuse me. You think you need to explain something to me? All right, all right. Which of us has already had to slog through all this garbage twice? Hey, I know this tutorial inside out. To start with, I have to talk to you. Oh, great. Starting right off with the worst bit. Yeah. And to do that, I use... Uh, uh... The, um, the mouse, perhaps? I know that. Since when do I need you to help me? Then what are you waiting for? Just point at me with the cursor and left-click as soon as you see the speech bubble icon. Hey! No prompting! Talk to Tony. You don't have to say it out loud. Hey, I'm not talking to you. You are! You clicked on me! Yeah, and I regret it already. At any rate, there's nothing else here you can teach me. You don't even know how to... At, um, hmm. How to look at an object? Everybody knows that. Oh, yeah? So how? You point it up with your mouse pointer and right-click when you see the eye icon. Uh-uh-uh. You mean left. No, I mean right, where the eye icon is. Oh, so that's the right that everybody's always talking about. You know, I always just called it left, too. It's a lot easier to remember. But if you say so, then I'll try your oh-so-wonderful right on this thing that's lying on the ground by pointing at it with the cursor and right-clicking as soon as the eye icon appears. Ah, there. Please, don't overextend yourself. What is it? That is an interference converter. Oh, yeah. First time round, it was the cathode plunger. Then it was the reactor thing head. C can't you guys just be consistent? Mm, whatever. Call it what you want. You just need it to repair the press. And how, pray tell, am I supposed to do that when I can't even pick it up? Mm, you can pick it up. Just point it up with the mouse to make the hand icon appear. Then left click. Nah, there must be an easier way. <sighs> Oops. Where did it go? Didn't you say you know what you're doing? When you pick something up, it lands in your inventory. To open it, all you have to do is turn the mouse wheel. Hey, there it is! Exactly! Now this is your inventory. Yeah, obviously. And here you can see all the stuff you're carrying around with you. You remember how to do that, don't you? Huh? How did this weird thing get into my inventory? I guess you just stole it. But it doesn't matter right now. You need it for the tutorial. That's all you need to know. Ah, uh, tutorial schmutorial. And? Any luck combining objects? I'm, I'm working on it. Left click on one of the two items to attach it to your mouse pointer. Then click on the other item to combine them. I, I was just about to do that. Hey, look, Tony, I fixed the part! I'll believe that when I see it in use. <laughs> yeah, you will. My tinkering skills are unbelievable. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it fits! The next thing you have to do is... Hey, hey, you don't have to hold my hand all the way through this. I can manage the rest on my own. If you say so. When you're ready, you have to... P no, 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 no. Hang on a minute. It's just a button. I can manage this without you. Hmm. Hey, Tony. What is it now? 
what would you say if this time I left the honor of pushing the button to you? Fine. I had a bet with Doc that you couldn't do this. What? But I did do it. The press works. Here, I'll show you. <sighs> now I owe Doc five zlotties, but it was worth it. My fellow Elysium, I know how much you have been looking forward to this day. Regrettably, however, I must inform you that Inspector Cletus and his companion have not yet returned. Therefore, we cannot yet exclude the remote possibility that down on Deponia, part of the population have somehow managed to survive among the junk to this day. Prime Controller Ulysses has confirmed that the Organon is ready to fulfill its mission. As soon as the inspection team gives the all clear on the return from the ruins of Porta Fisco, nothing will stand in the way of the spectacular start of our journey to Utopia. It is only a matter of hours until we can finally give the Organon the signal to go ahead and blow up our home planet. The good news is, due to this delay, the water slide will stay open for now. Smoke! Fire! What? Fire! Good morning, ladies. Doc, the fire extinguisher. I'll wake those and get the mine detector. Take it easy. I'm just making breakfast here. Fried sludge with honey. Oh, again. The allergy medication is in the cupboard with a bear trap. Nonsense. The sludge is just the base. I am fishing. At this very moment, I'm using the diving crane to catch something big. Oh, goodness. That's a new one. Uh, no problem. Let me think. We should be in the Sea of Shards by now. Do we have enough bandages left? Um, Doc? Yes? This isn't the Sea of Shards. What? Oh, right. I forgot to tell you. I have a great plan while you were asleep. What have you done? I found an abandoned on-ramp to the Organon's monorail track. And so I thought to myself, Bozo's cutter used to be a rail vehicle, right? Rufus! What? You steered us onto an Organon cruiser route. Yeah, and it'll take us directly to the Upper Ascension Station in Port of Fisco. Where the Organon's headquarters are. And where the last high boat to Elysium is anchored. That was the plan, wasn't it? I will use my amazing resemblance to Cletus to sneak on board, together with Gold. But... So come on, let's eat something first. <laughs> That's the diving crane. I've got a bite. I thought we weren't on the water anymore. So what? What do you mean, so what? So what took the bait? Uh-oh. Definitely a feast for the eyes. <laughs> 
We should dig in before they do. Oh, crap. I guess this means Bozo will finally accept the fact that he needs a new cut. Oh, Rufus, you were so right. You are such a good friend. Ha, it's his own fault. <laughs> what a hard guy. Uh-oh. What's kept you, Argus? I was just talking to the Elysian Council of Elders. They're starting to get nervous. We're on our way, Prime Controller. Inspector Cletus and his companion are on board. There will be no further delays. I should very much hope so. Ulysses, over. Treason! Stop the engines, Argus! Cletus, you have no business here. You're supposed to stay in the cabin until we reach Port of Fisco. That will have to wait. This woman is not my fiancée. Put his eyeballs in the waffle iron! I know that. She's a Deponian with a brain implant, which also happens to contain the cartridge with the mind of your fiancée. No, it doesn't. Do you think this sounds like gold? Chew flesh from their ankles! Rotten vinegar! <laughs> Maybe she's about to have, um... Oh, uh, you know, a uh, visit from Aunt Flo. Rubbish. That Rufus pulled a fast one on me. We need to turn back. You fool. Excuse me, bailiff, sir. There's something on the track. What do I care? Run it over. We have no time to lose. The inspector has forgotten something important, and he's in trouble if he can't find it soon. Up and bottom. You will go with Inspector Cletus. As you wish, bailiff. Phew! Goal! Goal! Hang on, I'm coming! Ah. And... Hi! Goal! What the heck are you doing? I'm trying to free the cable! Please! Get off there! It's dangerous! And here I was thinking you don't even know that word. Sure I do! Danger is my middle name! Actually, I meant please. But if you want to help, the crane is awfully wobbly. You need to tighten the screws. Oh! Alright! No problem! The crane might break at any moment. I need to do something. Anything. You've chosen a romantic location. Well, you refused to go to the theater. Eh, at least the seats would have been more comfortable. For starters, you might want to tighten the screws. In the meantime, I'll try to free the cable. Consider it done. Huh? Hey! Oops. Oh. Any progress? Well, uh, yeah. There is some, uh, progress, uh, so to speak. Uh-oh. Oh. Oh. What have you done? Wasn't me. Damn it, Rufus, we're going to fall. No, we won't. I'm slipping. No problem. I gotcha. My blackout tactics. Ah, a residual light shot. Need to set my flash to the highest level. Blackout? You're bluffing. Perhaps I am. 
perhaps I definitely am. Uh, I, I, I'll switch on my night vision equipment, just in case. There! Done! Do your thing, Rufus! Man, this is going to be so epic! Um, okay, okay. One, two... Uh, I'm blind! I'm blind! What? What? <laughs> and... Uh, Ta-da! Wow! You actually did it! Yeah. Ah, that's me, you know. How on earth did you do that? <laughs> Wait for the photo. And now you're gonna go save Gold, right? Who? Oh, uh, her, sure. <laughs> How are you gonna do that? One thing at a time, the two of us should have a talk first. Yeah. Fan to idol. Wow, what an honor. So, you're a fan of mine. My name is Barry. I traveled miles only so I could talk to my greatest idol just this once. Well, then let me talk instead of boring me with the story of your empty life. What are you doing aboard an Organon cruiser? Oh, uh, uh, that's a pretty interesting story. Too bad it's not about me. Let's discuss more exciting stuff. For instance, what about my exploits? Oh, boy! We should use the time for an interview. Uh, really? Shouldn't you be saving gold first? Ah, her. All in good time. A true hero must take care of his fan base. Wow, you really are the greatest. Did you hear about the time I saved Gold from the claws of the Organon? Sure! The story about how you caught her when she fell from the sky is legendary! Almost as legendary as your selfless decision to take her back to Elysium, completely disregarding your own best interest. Legendary? It's epic! <laughs> Do you know how I uncovered the Organon's conspiracy? Well, of course! You fought your way through hundreds of Organon soldiers to beat the truth out of Cleese. That's how you learn that the Elysians are planning to blast Deconia to pieces, but they have no idea that Deconia is inhabited. I'm controlling the Elysians and the Argon, potentially, on keeping this fact a secret. And they got Cletus to falsify his report to reflect that. Wow, sounds like you were there. Do you realize it was me who started the rebellion against the Organon? Who else? In floating black market, you had the idea to look for comrades and artists to fight against the government's judgment. That's where you recruit Yan, Garlic, and Weevil, who happen to be floating past in a pickle barrel. God, even the things I made up. Have you also heard that I prevented the depopulation of the Rust Red Sea? Naturally, you led the rebel attack against an Organon blast tower. You blocked the bomb suspension clamps all by yourself, and then you proceeded to save Gull from the claws of her devious would-be fiancé, Cletus. That's exactly how it happened. How about a little photo session? Oh, fantastic! Hmm, let's see. What would be a suitable subject? I could take a picture of you saving Gull. Yeah, but then she would be in the picture too, right? Wouldn't that distract unnecessarily from the protagonist? Quite on the contrary. It would emphasize your selflessness. You think so? Mm. All right, then get ready and uh, make sure my selflessness is clearly visible in the picture. Exactly! The manual uh, thing of me. <gasps> I feel another brilliant Rufus maneuver coming up! Yeah, can you try to feel it without making so much noise? Are you going to start the extreme action now? The what? Well, the action! A super extreme Rufus maneuver! Uh yeah, exactly. Uh totally extreme. This is so exciting! Are you going to start the extreme action now? The... Well, a super... Uh, yeah. It's a... Uh, totally... This is so... Um, I see. You're 
accelerating the cruiser instead of stopping it like everyone else would have done. That's because everyone else is an idiot. And the cutter being caught in the clouds is part of your plan as well, right? Uh, sure. Um, please! <laughs> See those sparks fly! <laughs> Woohoo! Faster still! This is so rad! My coat is on fire, but I'm still very happy to be part of this! Luckily, the Organon is known for its excellent fire protection measures. Nah, that's just propaganda. I bet my boots. Your boots on that. Hey, wake up! You're sleeping through the peak of my selflessness! Crap. I would have made an excellent fireman, even back with his own fire gear. So the cutter struck sails, wrecked Estonia's mum scales, and up as much a whale for the long road ahead. Still, the mood in the group was just super whoopy doop, yeah, except that they slowly grew ripe for the bad. For they knew that they would have to go on by foot. And no problem for such a walk is all the less stressful if you sing along with a motivating song. And to emphasize this, I flap the cabin of the coast guys with helium gas. <laughs> The way I took out that Organon with my shadow attack. Did you see that? For the thousand times. That was so cool. They call him Rufus. Rufus. Oh. Everybody now. He's cool and he's smart. It's something, something modern art. What? Hey. Where are you going? There's a hotel down there. I really need a wash. Especially for my ears. But, but... Go? Come on, Rufus. Are, are you mad at me? Dirty, battered, humiliated. All of that. But mad at you? No. It was actually kind of cool. Oh yeah! Something something modern art! 